All right, so what I have here is a Zoom H1 Essentials, and everything you hear in this video will be from this recorder. Let's start capturing some sounds. All right, so real quick test of handling noise. Gonna move this back and forth between my hands. How's it sounding? I think it's gonna be picking up a lot of noise from when I was testing it out earlier when I was testing it at home. But how's it sounding now? I think it's gonna be noisy. So the Zoom H1 Essentials is an updated version of the Zoom H1 and the H1N. This new version is similar to the older ones, but it can finally take USB-C, and it can also take micro SD cards up to one terabyte. I think the older version only took up to like 32 gigs, so that's a welcome upgrade. But the biggest update is a 32-bit float. It's great that all these companies are finally coming out with 32-bit floats in the microphones, like in this uh, DJI mic too. Climb all the way over there. We're, hopefully, I don't fall. Wish me luck. That thing? Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's not going well. This is not going well. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna climb around. I think that's safer than what I did earlier. 
<laughs> I got I got this. <laughs> Parkour. <laughs> All right, so testing the H1 Essential with the uh, Rode Lavalier Go connected to it. I think it's what this one's called. And uh, how's it sounding? Now, the benefit of 32-bit float is no clipping, but it doesn't necessarily improve system performance. So basically, the quality of the output is determined by the quality of the input. Garbage in, garbage out. So the older H1N is known for having noisy preamps, so I'm testing it here in the library. I'll be raising the gain in post to normalize the volume. So how's it sounding? In case you're wondering, this is the WSU-1 universal windscreen. And yeah, it's definitely needed when you're using the, uh, the Zoom H1. Anyways, let me know if you have any questions and I'm tired. I'm headed home. <laughs> See ya.